you with Life Pro today. Another wonderful, exciting day of which we are get to releasing and launching some of our newest innovative products, including our new Dash X exercise bike, which has a really unique galloping feature to make the workout a little more intense if you would like to do something other than just pedaling on the different eight levels of resistance. Uh, and then we also have our new Power Flow Pro Dumbbell, which is a max weight of 55 pounds, but you can adjust um, all the way through uh, from about two, two and a half pounds at a time, uh, should say, yeah, about, so we, we start at a level of four and we go all the way up to 55. So it's, um, we're gonna go through these different things, but the wonderful thing is depending on what your goals are in fitness, uh, endurance, strength, recovery, uh, maybe you're needing something to use at home for the purpose of rehabbing a total hip or total knee replacement. Either way, um, we, you might not have the uh, uh, affordability or the availability of bringing in a personal trainer or a physical therapist or an athletic trainer like myself. So with these awesome new products, we get to help you redefine your workouts, your wellness experience, um, and you're going to get to use the transformative power that is installed in the Dash X bike and the convenience of these adjustable dumbbells. Um, to increase your strength and overall stamina, to boost your heart rate, burn calories, and reduce overall weight. And then, of course, increasing your core strength, core strength being your, your torso and your back and your hips, um, and increasing circulation to your overall extremities, which in the grand scheme of things, by keeping us moving, uh, allows us to improve in our level of pain levels um, and, and, and decreasing chronic pain and chronic inflammation. But more importantly, because this is the new year of 2022, we at Life Pro are really excited to be able to serve you in trying to create the new you, whether you're wanting to boost metabolism and burn your fat uh, at a faster rate, or where you're wanting to decrease stress by increasing your happy hormones and decreasing your cortisol. Either way, we are here for you with our uh, performance team in order to show you how to use these different tools and products uh, for your greatest uh, goal outcomes, whatever that might be, from the convenience of your home within our community. So uh, that was a lot to just throw out there, but I am thoroughly excited about these new products. So I know that we are running live right now on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And so if you could uh, give me a thumbs up, if you can hear everything, see everything in the background. And then more importantly, the good news is we're actually going to be giving away one of each of these products to one or, or should say to two of you lucky uh, consumers or those of you who are observing, trying to figure out if this is maybe something in your needs. Um, and so I want you to actively participate in some of the questions and some of the, um, in some of the areas that we're going to be uh, talking this evening by commenting in the comment box or giving me some thumbs or some hearts so that I know you're all uh, listening in and uh, those who are actively participating and listening in, we'd like to reward you for your time. Um, when we look at our life and when we look at wellness, um, there are two things that money cannot buy you. Money cannot buy you health and money cannot buy you time. So we at Life Pro would like to reward you with both of those, um, health and the time with our products. Okay, that being said, as I'm going through and introducing you to these brand new products and showing you all their wonderful features, the Dash X exercise bike uh, if you were to win the Dash X exercise bike to create this new you, whatever, uh, whatever the goals or outcomes might be for you, I want to know if you could imagine taking this Dash X in your imagination, you get on the Dash X and you start to pedal away. Where would you want to take yourself in order to experience a better version of you? What would be the reward? So in other words, if I was going to give you a trip to go someplace, if you were to take the Dash X for a ride, where would you want that bike to take you? Because you don't have to go out on the road and ride the bike in order to experience the Dash X, but you have to be willing to take your imagination where you've never gone before. And in doing that, we're able to find the relief and the excitement and build upon using our stamina and endurance um, in, in creating our overall wellness, okay? Uh, but if we are sitting on the bike and wondering, oh, this is really boring and I don't have a screen in front of me and I don't have Amber in front of me or Debbie or Roseanne, where would you want to take yourself to go? So I want to know, dream spot, where would you want to go if you were to 
drive or ride, I should say ride, this Dash X exercise bike out of your living room into your imagination of wherever it is you want to go in order to release that pain and make those happy thoughts come to life and releasing those happy hormones. That's what I want you to type in your comment box. And while you're doing that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I would like again to say thank you for watching tonight because it's Friday night. Um, I'm here in Indianapolis, Indiana area, and here it is snowing and it is really, really cold. So I'm pretty sure you don't want to ride your Dash X to Amber's house in the Indianapolis area because it is frigid cold in the uh, single and low double digits and it snowed today. So um, I personally would be wanting to pedal away down to the southern states of Florida or out west to Arizona, California. But there and again, there are places of the world that I haven't seen yet. So we have to use our imagination and inspire each other to consider some new opportunities. So I'm excited to hear where you all want to go. Okay, when it comes to the Dash X exercise bike, it does have a max capacity of 240 pounds and it is whisper quiet at only 40 decibels when it comes to the sound of machine working. It does have an onboard computer, which has a backlit feature. And with that, you can go through the different metrics of scanning through the speed and RPMs, speed and miles per hour. You can check your time, you can check your distance, calories, and it also keeps track of your pulse by using the pulse sensors here on the handles. And they are, uh, they do actively light up, whether you've got a heart rate monitor strap or a wearable tracking device, it does show the heart rate on the backlit computer. Um, on the backlit computer, which is harder to see because maneuvering, but there is a little button right here that I'm pushing, and you can, you can sort through all of those different metrics to see how the Dash X is benefiting you with the intensity um, and the effort that you're putting in and once you get started, it gives you, let's say you're just having kind of a rough day and you just wanna go for five miles of a ride. Um, you can see where on the, you, you can look at the control panel here and it'll tell you how far you've gone in distance in as far as mileage goes. It'll also tell you if you're working on something at physical therapy for total knee or total hip replacement, or maybe you're recovering from a sprained ankle or whatever it is that you're having to recover from, if you know that you're riding on a bike in physical therapy and you're spinning those wheels at a certain RPM or at a certain mile per hour, you can synchronize that in, in, in using the Dash X bike at home so that you can incorporate those exercise components at home without having to go to physical therapy and continue to progress quicker. So all of these different things uh, you can keep track of without having to have any other extra app or computer um, it's all right here in the convenience of the control panel. We also want to make sure that you stay hydrated. So make sure that you've got your bottle of water that goes right there in our water bottle holder. Okay. Now this bike is really, really cool. It has a lot of different features on it. It actually has a reclining feature in which we can adjust the seat height to four different angles to recline forward and backward. And then once we get into adjusting the height angles, as we get into the pedals and use the bike together in a coordinated fashion, it actually gives you the ability to feel like you are galloping away. So not telling you to ride the Dash X like a horse, but if you could take the horse anywhere you wanted to go in the world, where would you take the horse that you're riding in the galloping feature? Because galloping on the Dash X bike is an experience for all of you to, to try in that it is really challenging, but oh, so working those thighs and getting that burn. So if you are one of those individuals who has to really feel the burn here in the thighs, this is the bike, okay? All right, the other thing that I wanna make sure you know is it comes with resistance level, uh, resistance handles. And so you can be sitting on top of the bike or we can be standing and you can actually exercise your arms with the resistance bands that run underneath of the frame all the way to the bottom, which you'll also find an ankle cuff that you can put around your ankle, or if you wanted to do some bicep, bicep curls from here, we can stand here and do some bicep curls. Now you're wondering, I'm sure, why on earth would you want to have a bike that has all these different resistance bands with handles and straps that might potentially get in the way when you're riding it? In other words, 
I think from our perspective, when, when I know when uh, Joel and Abe were designing this bike, it was about being able to minimize how much equipment you have, especially if you're in an apartment in New York City or you're staying in a very small home where you don't have a lot of room to store things around. You have to have a lot less, but we wanna make sure that you can still do the same amount in your fitness outcome or your wellness goals with as minimal as possible if that's your situation. So with this, we can do what's called a high interval intensity pr type program where you will pedal and get the heart rate up in the cardiorespiratory department. And then from there, you can stop and take a break, do some bicep curls, do some tricep extensions, do some flies. You can sit on the bike and do that, or you can stand to the side and do that. We can work our hip flexors, our, I'm sorry, hip flexors on the front, hamstrings on the back. But those of you who are really wanting to work the inner thighs and outer thighs, you can also do uh, leg raises and control to the inside using all the different components. And if you're one of those individuals who just loves simplicity and you just have no desire to use all those, all of these components actually clip off of here so that you don't have to use them if you prefer not to. But all in all, the nice part is that you can use the Dash X bike along for resistance training, for flexibility training, for cardiorespiratory training, if you're doing rehabilitation in order to get swelling out of the joints and keep the body moving, increasing circulation. There's just so many great benefits that you can use uh, the Dash X exercise bike at home with. Today, and for a limited time only, we're selling this for $189.99. It's normally $299.99, but today, and for a limited time, you're gonna get it for $189.99 using the link that they're gonna provide in the um, comment section so that you can just click on that and it'll take you directly to uh, the, the uh, website to be able to order um, and, and get it to your door. Um, don't wait if you're interested in wanting to order because as with many of our other phenomenal Life Pro products, the um, availability of the stock that we have um, available right now uh, has the potential to thin out very quickly because these products tend to be uh, in high demand, especially with the surge of the, the, the winter um, illnesses and individuals are staying home uh, yet again than more than they were when it was really nice outside. Um, so if, if you're one of those individuals who is on the fence, just remember you've got 30 days to give it a try. And if 30 days it doesn't work for you, you contact us through support at lifeprofitness.com and they will gladly refund and take the product back within the first 30 days. If you happen to have any dysfunctions or defective issues or um, the bike doesn't keep up, remember, majority of all of our products carry a limited lifetime warranty so that you have that uh, security in the back of your mind that if something goes wrong, that you're not stuck with a, a pile of whatever, right? Because not all companies are like that. But uh, the one thing that I love about LifePro is they truly do prioritize and value customer service as a top priority. And they're gonna do everything they can to make sure that you are happy because you are the reason why we're here and you're the reason why we have purpose to create these innovative products and change your world uh, in, in exchange for allowing us to be part of it. So a lot, a lot going on there. But anyhow, we've got eight different levels of resistance and I'm gonna bring this closer to you. That's how light it is. It doesn't, it doesn't weigh all that much uh, in order to be able to lift. So we're gonna go here so you can actually see the knob. And the knob, if we turn to the left counterclockwise, it starts on our low level of tension of one. And each time we click it to the right, you, can, you might be able to hear it click and maybe you don't. Um, but we're gonna go all the way to the far right or clockwise which is gonna be all the way to max of level eight. So we can start at a level of one, all the way up to level eight. And then, like I said, when you throw in the galloping feature, hold on to your bootstraps, it is a ride for the crowd. So again, I wanna know where you're gonna ride this bike to when you get it, because it's a state of mind. If you can't actually go out and ride, because like today, I would totally wipe out on a bike with uh, fresh powder snow on the ground, and, and ice setting in, so I have to stay inside. And if the, the power goes out, guess what? You still got the bike to go for a ride because you don't have to have power to use this like you have to have to use our vibration platforms. So I wanna know where you're gonna ride the Dash X bike in your state of mind imagination, or where is it that you'd like to go that you gotta get in shape to go? 
and using the dash X to be able to get yourself, you know, in physical good condition to go wherever it is you want to go. I am seeing some different places here. We've got uh, Daytona Beach. That is like one of the coolest beaches in the country because you can actually drive on that beach. I've been there. Um, we can go to Croatia. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, I've seen Paris and we've got Tuscany and the Rockies. I love, oh, so wonderful. So if you live in the Rockies, I feel, um, I'm feeling a little jealous because it's such a beautiful landscape. And if you're living in New York City, that's another area that I haven't been in like 20 years. I would love to go there and see uh, New York City, uh, even with all of its crazy busyness and uh, all the all the buildings and and uh, you know the activities and the excitement. Uh, because I'm just living in the middle of nowhere. My closest neighbor is a half mile away, and I'm living on a cattle farm of about 300 acres, and we farm um, quite a quite a bit of acreage. Um, but it's very quiet out here. So I like to have the yin and the yang of New York City. So um, I have to give uh, a New York City a ring here uh, whenever I'm able to break away because I'd love to be able to go out there and visit. Um, and then we've got mountainside. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Tuscany sounds wonderful. So many things we can do. Imagination is powerful, let me tell you. Okay, on our wheels, we've got our wheels here and on the wheels, let me tilt you down here, on the wheels, you're gonna see adjustable straps, okay? So we have an adjustable strap here and there are several different levels of adjustment here. So if you're one of those individuals that you really like having um, a strap over the top of your shoe, that's me. I like to be able to be locked and loaded. Um, if I'm riding a road bike or uh, if I'm out cycling, I like to have my, my clips uh, snapped into position so that I can use the full circle of muscle uh, energy and I'm not overusing one side versus another. Um, but the beautiful thing about this one is we don't have to worry about unclipping and falling over at the stop sign and stoplight, right? <laughs> that actually happens to me. Um, so anyways, we've got all these adjust adjustable levels on the pedal. Um, and then again, we have that on both sides. Um, down here, you're gonna notice, like I said, you're gonna notice the adjustable strap um, and the strap has got either, you can have one band attached to it. And if you don't need that much resistance, you can remove that and just use single level resistance. The strap, you are gonna put on, you can put it around your ankle and make sure you get it on there nice and tight. Okay, so if I'm wanting to go sideways, okay? Working sideways. So now, oh my goodness. Now we're working gluteus, medius, and minimus. And I know you can't see my head, but I want you to make sure you can see the, the ankles, right? So we're getting, and if I turn, so if I'm here, I'm actually working on the angle on the back side of my glute. If I turn and face a totally different direction and go off to the side, now I'm actually working the outer hip. So I didn't have to change the band. All I gotta do is change the angle of direction of the pull, and that changes which muscle we're working. So if I'm wanting to work the booty, I can go forearms here, and I can either kick back and straighten, that is killer by the way, great exercise. Or if I'm wanting to take the hamstring and the calf out of it down here and go more isolated here in the glute, the higher part of the glute, then it's just straight back while keeping nice and tall, okay? All right, so let me pull that off so that I can give you a full view length of the bike. And again, we're giving away some goodies today. So make sure that you are giving us an idea where you wanna go with your Dash X, where are you gonna take your imagination to ride so that you can enjoy the benefits without having to suffer because there's so much boredom. If you don't have music, if you don't have anybody to hang out with, because fitness is so contagious, if you can find a way to get into your head uh, as a good distraction and good motivation. So where do you wanna go if you win the Dash X? Got a post, if you're wanting to win, I need to know where do you wanna take the, the bike for a ride? Okay, now, as I said before, we also have the adjustable resistance bands for the handles. So if I wanna hold on here to the front and take it across, okay, right now I am working my deltoid and part of the bicep tricep complex depends on which part of the motion we're talking about. 
But again, I'm also working up here in the rotator cuff. I'm working in the abdominals to stabilize. And then if you happen to have one of the squishy balls at home that go in between the thighs that you see in so many of my other videos, you could hold on to that and work inner thighs at the same time as the abs as you're doing these lateral raises. So there's so many different ways that you can use this. But what I want you to see here is these little, these little parts, they actually pivot. They actually rotate, okay? Um, so if you are wanting to go someplace this way, you can actually pivot this little attachment here and take the, the band off to the side. If you want to take the band over the seat, it all pivots in that direction. So there's so many different ways that you can use the bike in different directions uh, for wherever it is that you want to go. Um, as far as how much the bike weighs, I'm gonna have uh, my, my team backstage double check that and confirm that. Um, I know the max capacity is 240 pounds of, of individual user weight on top of it. Um, I wanna say, let's see what it feels like. I wanna say it's probably around 30 pounds to being able to pick up. Um, but they're going to post, they're going to look that up and post that in uh, the comment section because I uh, have since slipped my mind on that detail. So I don't remember off the top of my head, but I can tell you it feels about 30 pounds. Um, when it's folded up in position, we're talking about 20 inches by 21 inches by 60 inches in dimensions if you're looking at it like a big uh, rectangular box. When we unfold it, so... The way that we unfold this, okay, we've got a lever down here at the bottom and we have a lever up here at the top. The lever right here underneath the seat is what adjusts the seat height, okay? The lever down here at the bottom is what allows it to go into a reclining position. So I'm gonna highly recommend that you adjust your seat height after you get it into the position that you want it to be so that the whole body is synchronizing comfortably when you're in the pedals. So I'm going to show you how to do this because this can be a little tricky. We're going to tilt the bike forward on the front end and we're going to unscrew this knob, but don't allow it to come all the way out. Um, I'm seeing from afar, is there a weight limit? Yes, 240 pounds is the weight limit. Now, once you turn the um, knob, adjusting it counterclockwise, you're gonna be able to pull, and this is where it gets a little tricky because you gotta pull really hard, unless you can use some kind of a lubricant, a silicone or WD-40. When you get your parts, um, make sure and lubricate that pull knob because after you don't use it for a while, if you don't adjust the bike after a while, it gets a little bit harder to adjust it um, because the bike is really stable once you, once you get that adjustment. So I'm going to pull and not unscrew too much. And then you can see here, I'm using the seat in my armpit, okay? Using the seat in my armpit. And from here, I'm actually using the handle to adjust the length of the reclining position. So I'm gonna go fully reclined position until this clicks in, okay? I'm gonna screw it tight clockwise and then sit it down flat. Now, I do remember seeing some individuals asking if we were gonna be coming out with a recumbent bike anytime soon. This is very, very similar to a recumbent bike. The difference is you don't have the seat back coming all the way up and down. But this has got some really cool benefits to it um, that you might not expect to see. Now, me personally, these things get in my way and they drive me bananas. So what you can do is you can hang those up over the water bottle holder or you can unclip them all together. So if you're not gonna use them, they unclip quite conveniently well if i can get my fingers to work very well today <laughs> there we go so the handles unclip off so you if, you if those get in your way and they drive you bananas um, you can take those off and you can slide them onto the handlebar so that you don't have to worry about running into them um, but again it's such a nice convenience to have um, all these different pieces and moving parts in one unit so that you can um, so that you can use a lot uh, in, in one space without having multiple pieces of equipment. Now, I did not tighten down my seat and my saddle in the biking world is a little loose. 
So that handle is right here underneath the saddle and you're gonna tighten and make sure that we're locked and loaded. Okay, now um, I am going to start on a level one and we just are gonna pedal away. Now this seat height feels comfortable, but as you can see, my knee is sitting higher than my hip. Not a good thing. Uh, because if your knee is sitting higher than your hip, but you're not actually leaning back, pushing forward, that you're kind of jamming the hip if you're leaning forward. So I'm going to actually raise my seat height by just a tad. And again, we just rotate. Don't take the, the knob all the way out. Just adjust ever so slightly. Okay, now that's better, okay? Now I'm on a level one and I've got my hands on the heart rate sensors. But I personally am in this position all day when I'm working on bodies. So I'd actually rather sit upright more comfortably in my opinion, or I can hold on here in front, okay? Um, if you are an individual who stays upright and walking a lot through the day, and you wanna drop down into more of that arrow position in order to feel it in your low back, you can do that. But I personally, in this scenario, like to be a little bit more upright and erect where I'm not straining my neck and shoulders, I'm not straining my back, and I'm getting more of legs in as far as action goes, and I'm getting more stretching and mobility in my low back, okay? So again, if you're just now jumping in, um, you're gonna see that there are several different uh, metrics that are measured on the onboard computer, including speed in RPM, speed in miles per hour, time, distance, calories, and in pulse using the heart rate sensors. Eight different levels of intensity. We've got a max user weight of 240 pounds, and we have four different reclining levels going back, coming forward. We've got several different angles of seat height, and then more importantly, I'm gonna show you this really cool galloping feature here in just a second. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the intensity. Okay. Oh, there it went. Oh, so if you've ever been into a spinning class or riding up a hill, okay, we're riding up the hill, okay? And you gotta be careful not to be popping wheelies. We don't want you popping any wheelies at home, okay? <laughs> I know you might be thinking BMX action, you're gonna be jumping over some hills uh, or some mounds, but let your imagination take you there and try not to be popping wheelies in your living room. I do not want to hear about you flipping backwards, trying to use that imagination for fun, okay? Whew, okay. I do not have my heart rate monitor on right now, but I can tell you my heart rate is rapidly picking up over 120 beats per, uh, beats per minute, which is really, really good cardio, okay? And again, I'm at level, yes, I'm at level eight, and I am pushing, pushing, pushing. <sighs> and I got to be able to talk a little bit longer. So I'm going to drop it down to about a level three. Okay. All right. Now let me go through here and show you how easy this is to adjust. So right now we are in max height in the seat. I am five foot five ish. Um, this bike is really not meant to be made for super, super tall individuals. So if you are like six and a half foot, seven foot tall, you're probably not going to enjoy this experience because you're gonna be bigger than the bike. So, um, you know, it's, it, like I said, uh, it's, it's a great, it's a great bike for beginners, great bike for kids, uh, great bike for weight loss. But if you are an avid diehard go-getter cyclist, uh, trying to keep up your cardio workouts at home, and you're wanting the performance of a traditional spinning bike or a traditional um, speed, road bike that you might be using at home, uh, you're probably going to be a little on the disappointed side when it comes to your expectations because it's not gonna provide you the ability to come up in and out of the saddle like you're jumping. So uh, again, if you are recovering from surgery, you are recovering from an injury or just wanting to stay moving, you're wanting to lose some weight, um, it's, an op it's an awesome option uh, and taking up very, very little space. Now. Um, when it comes to adjusting back again, again, I think the easiest thing to do 
is tilt the bike forward. And then down here, you're gonna unscrew to the counterclockwise, the, the, the knob, but don't take it out all the way, okay? We're gonna give it a little pull, a little shaky shaky, okay? And then we're gonna drop it into the next notch. So I just increased the height of the recline. So we have seat height increasing, we've got reclining increasing by four different angles, okay? So I just changed that. And I wanna show you how that changes my overall size. So if you don't wanna lean back, because I was leaning way back there, now I'm definitely much more upright, okay? And my legs are almost too long. That's not really comfortable for me. So now I'm going to adjust the seat height back again. And we'll try just one little notch and we'll see what happens. Come out here so you all can see. Okay. There we go. So there we have our nice pedal resistance. Now we're on a level five from where we started from. Okay, and again, you can go holding on here and keeping an upright posture. You can go into more of an aerodynamic position. But again, this is not meant to be up and climbing. It, you'll feel a little wonky side to side. We don't want you to do that. Don't forget to take a drink of water. Okay, now that is, that is that level seat height. Let's keep going. So we've got that. Now we got it loosey goosey. So we're gonna pull and we're gonna drive it on up. Okay, and from here, we're gonna mount the saddle and go for a little ride. Now, as you can see, I'm sitting up much taller and now my knees are getting close to this handle where it was at before. So some of you might struggle in sitting definitely more compact and upright depending on your anatomy and depending on leg length and all that good stuff, you might be more comfortable sitting upright than you do in that reclining position, okay? So now we are in an upright position, but as you can see, my knee is able to tap into the water, water bottle holder. So for me, uh, I'm almost better off going back a notch or removing the water bottle holder and having extra space to work within the, the, the frame itself. So super easy to remove the water bottle holder, just like one little screwdriver that comes with the bike so that you can make adjustments as you need to. But we want you to be able to use it for all it's worth. Now, if I'm here and I'm wanting to do some rows, so if you've got a shoulder issue or you're wanting to improve these upper back muscles, okay, here's our strap. We've got our clip. Okay, if you have already uh, made a statement as to where you want to go in your imagination, where out in the world do you want to bike to in the world, okay? With so many wonderful bells and whistles on, this, on the Dash X exercise bike, we're curling, okay? This is also, um, these resistance bands are all adjustable down there at the bottom using the tools that come with the Dash, the Dash X bike. Um, and you can adjust the height or the tension on these resistance bands to make them easier or harder. If you've done my exercises with the whole body vibration platforms and you have the little mini loop bands, which I can grab a set of here in just a second, you can actually work on doing hands up top and working to the side, working with the mini loop bands if you're wanting to mix up in variety, okay? So from here, if I'm wanting to work on uh, rowing, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put my, my foot here, okay? And we are now working on a rowing position, okay? Now, what happens if I don't hold on to the bike down at the bottom? You're not gonna be popping any wheelies, you're fine. So we can still get into a nice squatted position and pull those bands towards you for added resistance in the shoulders and in the upper back, okay? If we wanna work triceps, we can go holding on, we can pull, extend back here and then release. Pull through, extend back, inward and release. We can do chest reverse flies. So I can stand right here with the bike. We can do chest reverse flies. Watch this one. 
we turn ourselves around, position our booty into the back of the bike. Now we've got cable flies. Okay. So, oh, so many different ways that you can do this. I would be here for a long time showing you all these different things that you can do. Um, but what's nice is when you buy the Dash X bike, we're going to be able to show you in some different demonstrations in our live classes how you can get your workout in and, and providing you a live workout without the demo and the launch of demonstrating all the different things that come with. You just jump into the live workout, which we're doing next week on some of our other devices, and we can show you all the tips, tricks, and ways that you can get your workout in without having to hire somebody or figuring it out on your own. So a lot of different tips and tricks to come from that. Okay, now let's adjust it one more time. So we're gonna release the knob by uh, moving counterclockwise. And again, we're moving, I'm stabilizing using the seat on my armpit or on my side, okay? The front stays put. So this lever here is our moving lever. And from here, we're gonna take it, Oh, there is our highest position. That is a really high position, okay? This is a super high level position. So we're here. And there we go. So now I feel really tall. I feel like I grew. So if I'm having a lack of confidence with being a shorty, <laughs> just get on the Dash X bike and feel like you are on top of the world because you just grew because the bike sits you up so tall. Now, I'm just now thinking about this as I'm trying to figure out this feature. We have a bike that has a really cool feature that you feel like you're galloping up and down. I was thinking that it was this bike, but I'm pretty sure it's not this bike now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and it takes a tremendous amount of energy to do it. So disregard that we have a galloping feature we can create the galloping feature coming down, riding up, coming back down. And on this, in this position, you can do this without the risk of popping a wheelie backwards. Whereas before, if we were in a reclining position, we were likely to do a wheelie backwards. So no wheelies allowed at home. I know you're imagining going off into this wonderful place that you would like to see but let's not go popping wheelies in our imagination in, in the reality of the bike. Okay, so going for a little ride. And we're on a, resist, a resistance of a five right now. So I'm gonna drop it all the way down. Now we're going super fast, but going super fast, I'm running into this water bottle holder. So me personally, with this bike, I'm gonna remove that water bottle holder so that I can actually maximize the speed. Clearing the booty, Stabilizing the arms on the arm bar here and really pushing away. Whew. Burning, burning, burning. And then we're going to go quickly all the way to resistance eight. Oh, and there we are. Now we're up that hill. So, those of you who wanted to ride on the flats, okay, whatever state you're in, whatever city you're wanting to visit that's flat, okay, we just, we just did that. Now we're riding through the Rockies, or the Smokies, Whew. or we're riding up some of those beautiful hills on the West Coast. But I tell you, it is a beast, the level eight, okay? And if we want to just barely hover and really work those butt cheeks and those hammies, yep, you can do that. Whew. Okay, enough of that. Now, what makes this bike really cool is it folds up and you can roll it around wherever it is for storage. So we're going to undo this knob. So again, I am pushing the bike forward, stabilizing the seat while I loosen up the knob. When I loosen up the knob, we're able to pull and then we're going to lock it in as it clicks, tighten down the knob. And now it is fold it up and ready to go and there we go so now we can carry it around wherever we want to go putting it in a closet okay and then set it down undo the knob counterclockwise but not all the way not all the way 
you're gonna hold on to the front, okay? As you pull the knob, you're gonna allow your position wherever you prefer until it locks in and then tighten up the knob and we are ready to go. Okay, I tell you what, I'm sweating and we really haven't even started a workout. <laughs> yes, um, so it does have a super cushy seat. Um, super cushy, so it's not hard as a rock. Is it as comfortable as your bike cruiser that you might be cruising through in some of your neighborhoods? Definitely not, but it is softer than a lot of uh, economy, compact, feature-rich bikes that you can use at home. So um, if, if you don't like the seat, uh, you can always get yourself some of the egg crate foam, wrap it around, or get yourself a pair of cycling shorts where you look like you're walking around in a diaper. Those are actually some of my favorite shorts. <laughs> when I'm doing a cycling class, um, you got to have you got to have the cycling shorts for extra cushioning in your in your groin and in your tushy. So whatever works for you. Um, and so I'm seeing yes, it's a super versatile piece. Um, yes, lots of good stuff. And the adjustments are quite easy. But here's the thing: when you get it, come back and watch this video because when we were recording these. Uh, video commercials months ago. Um, it took me several attempts at trying to figure out the easiest way to adjust it. So I've had some practice, but I don't want you to get it and you're frustrated and you're like, I cannot figure this out. This is driving me crazy. It's a pile of crap. Not the case. You just have to know the greatest strategy to doing it because there's a lot of different ways that you could adjust the bike if you want to and folding it up and releasing it and, and, and adjusting the seat and the uh, reclining height. But I have figured out the easiest way to do it. So make sure you come back and watch this so that you can see exactly hand positioning, foot positioning, and which lever moves so that you're not having to strain yourself in order to do it because it requires just a few little fingers, okay? All right, so there's the Dash X. The next product that we're featuring to complement the Dash X bike is our new dumbbells, okay? And let me, I'm gonna grab a little sidebar here. Okay, so we've got the Power Flow. We have had a set of dumbbells called the Power Flow. Now we have the Power Flow Pro, okay? This is really cool how this works. Now, I have it on a stool, a height adjustable stool, because it weighs 55 pounds. And I typically don't lift 55 pounds, but I can. But this is not my regular wheelhouse of, of lifting. Um, I don't have a set of 50 pound dumbbells in my gym because I don't use them very often. So if you have a spouse or a friend or a brother or whomever um, who is wanting the heavier weights and you don't wanna have to buy a lot of different weights, these are adjustable really really easy okay and so i'm going to show you how this works give it a little spin we've got it on a little turntable here right <laughs> okay so what's really cool is here on the ends see if i can give you a better view of this on the ends we have these little red buttons okay and i'm going to bring this this is always fun there we go yes you can see little red buttons here. So I'm gonna push boop, and another little boop and they pop out, okay? Here's the magic behind this set of dumbbells, okay? It rotates here on the handle and on the handle, it has all the different weights starting at four pounds and going all the way up to 55. So depending on what weight you want, okay? Let's say we're gonna go with 20, let's say 20 pounds. So we leave it at 20 pounds on top. We're gonna to push in these ends and then we're going to lift. And now we've got 20 pounds, okay? And then we've got all the rest of our weights down here in the dock. Slide it back on. We're gonna click both ends to adjust. We're gonna rotate back to 55 to reload it. Pop and then watch. Now we've got our weight lifting and back down, okay? Now, I want you to be able to see this. So again, it's 55 walking pounds. 
So you can see the red dots on the ends and you're gonna see the numbers here across the top. So when, there we go. And it is very, very heavy duty, very heavy duty handle, uh, metal handle with a textured grip. We've got all of these extra plates and you don't have to think about which plates need to come out. It automatically calibrates it based on what amount of weight you want. So let's go to four, okay? Oh wait, why can't I adjust this? Because it didn't release the end. Bing, bing, there we go. Okay, now we've got four and there's our four, okay? Yeah, no, just kidding. <laughs> you gotta have fun with these because there's so many different things you can do with them. And all of the weights here, what I wanna make sure you remember is that you leave the weights exactly as you see them or it doesn't work. So if you've got kiddos at home that happen to come over and be like, oh, what's that? I'm gonna go for a little, I'm gonna go play with this and make a little structure with this. And then you try and dock in and you're trying to calibrate based on the weight, you're gonna be in trouble because it won't work. So you have to make sure that you keep the weights inside the actual dock. I'm gonna bring this up close in person to you so you can see the numbers, but our um, PowerFlow Pro dumbbells are $199.99 and they're normally $350. So there's our, there's our red ends here on each end, okay? And then we have all of our numbers and you can choose which increment you want on the weight. They are, they're really, really nice. So if you're not wanting to buy lots of weight for your individuals at home, then this is like an all-in-one deal. And I'll tell you, um, I don't like bringing up competitors on here, but I will tell you, there are other companies that are out there that offer similar products that are double, double the price. So normally these are about 350 bucks from LifePro and up in the ballpark of like 700 bucks for another uh, competitor for the exact same product, actually less convenience. So uh, the ability, oh, there we go. I hold up here. Oh, you know what I did? I put that in backwards, like I told everybody not to. I don't think I messed that in. Okay, and well, maybe, uh-oh, no, oh, fix, see? So here's what happened, okay? Uh, I use the lightest weight, which is only four pounds. So when you put them in, if you can't get the ends to pop out, okay, and they're not popping out, guess why? Because there's no weight. There's no weight on this. So there's nothing to slingshot it out. So make sure when you put it in with a lightweight, if the ends don't pop out, push the button and then pull. And now we're, now we're in. Okay, let's go to uh, 13 pounds. Okay, and now we're lifted and we're ready to go. Um, so many different things that you can do exercise wise with just one weight. Cause I'm sure you're thinking, well, it only comes with one. So what am I gonna do with just one weight? You can actually do a lot of great things with one, eight, with one weight. Um, I am not a big fan for a lot of individuals to do any kind of weight lifting with a barbell because it compresses the spinal column, which compresses um, our discs. And so if we have issues with our neck or issues with our back, anytime we put a bar on our shoulders or across our chest, um, or depending on what kind of a lift you're doing, um, we are loading and compressing the spine a lot more than it already is, which is usually not good to begin with. However, if you are uh, a high performance athlete who is training for um, an event, and uh, when I say high performance, I'm saying like you are a semi-professional athlete, professional athlete, collegiate athlete. Uh, I'm not talking about Johnny who is 13 years old and trying to get strong for the first time. So if Johnny is trying to get strong for the first time, the worst thing you can do is put him in a weight room and give him a barbell full of weights and tell him to do a squat because he hasn't figured out most often how to use his own body. But what we do, what I love to teach is how to do goblet squats using a kettlebell. But again, if you're trying to minimize how much equipment you have at home, you can create the same effect um, vertically as a kettlebell using the PowerFlow Pro Dumbbell Set. So for little Johnny, who might only need like a 25 pound weight, that's even he that's actually heavy for, for a, a teenager who's just learning how to adapt. Um, 
we're gonna go hand right here in the center of the column and we're up and down and we're just working our movement as we feel comfortable and making sure that we're stable versus putting a bar on our on our on our back and 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 going forward instead of sitting back okay so there's some great advantages to using just one dumbbell versus a barbell and if you are not an athlete trying to get strong or you're not in a powerlifting competition um, or doing uh, different uh, types of franchised programming I would highly recommend you stay away from a barbell because it automatically loads the spine and shifts your mechanics faulty because you're never going to have a bar on your neck or your shoulders when you're out performing on the field uh, so you have to be able to learn how to shift with your body but you're always going to be having to use something in your hands so um, i love using our adjustable dumbbells and we have so many different types of adjustable dumbbells that are out within our product line right now but this one is my new favorite because i don't have to buy uh, a, a, a large group of adjustable dumbbells for multiple individuals. You can use one set, uh, one of these sets, including the dock and the dumbbell. So it's just a one piece, uh, one piece dumbbell. Uh, you can use that for in so many different ways, whether you're doing lunges or squats, or you're doing um, arm type strengthening, chest strengthening, a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, it. It's very similar to using a kettlebell, but we're taking the swing out of it. However, you can still swing this this dumbbell you just have to be careful in making sure that you're using safety because the weight doesn't shift in the palm of your hand um, as this weight doesn't shift in the palm of your hand as if you were using a kettlebell and the the loading dynamics of a kettlebell um, another another piece of equipment that you would use uh, very similar to this would be a medicine ball so if you're doing different exercises with medicine balls you're doing sit-ups picking the weight over your head and bringing it back through um, you can watch my workout that I taught the other day. Actually, it might have been yesterday that we did that one. I think it was yesterday. Um, we used a dumbbell, and we only used one while we were um, grounded on the platform and doing hip bridges to stimulate the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, the feet, and then working our low back. It was total body exercise, um, but we were really working the chest, taking it overhead behind. So you can challenge yourself um, in increasing the the uh, weight of the dumbbell here just by simply pulling out the end spinning the handle and again this goes all the way up to a max of 55 make sure those ends are clipped in and I'm gonna roll this back so I'm fully in the picture but um, this is gonna take me two hands okay um, I can hold it in one hand but my body is really leaning so this side of my body is getting a killer ab workout when I do that right okay Oh, goodness, you guys are kicking my tail today. <laughs> so um, what is what is the lowest weight? It's four pounds. So I will, uh, we will synchronize into four pounds and voila, four pounds. And you'll be able to see it on here. Four pounds. So we've got four, seven, nine, 11. We've got 13. There's 15, 18, 20. 22, 25, 27, 29, 34, 38, 42, 47, 51, 55, we're back to four. So what is really cool about this is we can go from the lightest to the heaviest in one click. I don't know that there's any other uh, dumbbell set that you can do that on the market in the world right now. So four, and remember, if it doesn't pop out, push and open because there's no weight on it. Okay, click back to 55. And, oh, yep. Make sure you engage that pelvic floor and those abs for that 55. <laughs> but yes, it is a max, max capacity of 55 with lowest capacity at four. So all extremes. And like I said, if you are somebody who wants to do uh, something with two dumbbells, then you can get two of them because today, the PowerFlow Pros are $199.99. And if you can tell me what is an area of your body that you need to work on for improving, whether it's from injury standpoint or whether you're just trying to get better at work or you're trying to fit into your skinny jeans or your summer swimsuit or what have you, or you're going 
uh, you're training for a hike or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Um, what if, if you are able to win the PowerFlow Pro Dumbbell, uh, what is the what are you looking forward to using it for? Uh, because those of you that can share with me um, how you're going to incorporate this into your daily routines or weekly wellness routines, uh, we're going to we're going to reward one of you tonight with uh, this with this product. So one of you will win this. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people that are, are listening here. Um, I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up. Next week, I'm going to be teaching a live workout. And I did happen to, I don't remember if we have already planned for what the workout is going to be or not. Um, I know we are trying to provide you with some new options for workouts. Uh, we've, we've done yoga for a very, very long time. And we're going to start offering some stuff, I think, using our, our bike series, using uh, all of our platforms. My favorite workouts are done on the platforms, as most of you might find on YouTube. Um, and then, of course, we have um, some of our other resistance training uh, equipment. We have our uh, Horizon Balance Trainer. There's a lot of different products that uh, we've come up out with here in the last year that really expand upon the different things in health, wellness, and performance um, outside of pain relief. So if you are somebody who is suffering of pain, um, we are gonna be offering a workout next week, a live workout, um, and I'll be teaching that. Uh, and I, uh, we were teaching this yesterday, and I noticed on some of the comments, one of the reasons why I love for all of you to share your comments and your thoughts with me is because I'm actually listening and reading through uh, what you're thinking. Somebody happened to post yesterday um, that they were struggling with doing the exercises that I was showing because they'd had total knee replacements. And I thought, oh, that's a, that, that's a no-brainer. Like we can totally make it much more convenient and tolerable and uh, user-friendly, but also really effective for improving overall life and quality of life and vitality. For those of you who have had um, artificial joint replacements, um, I, it just didn't cross my mind in that very moment because I was trying to make sure I was able to do the exercises after not doing them for a while myself. So what I would like to make sure we um, understand as we are all listening in tonight is I would like to be able to uh, offer you a workout next week. Um, and in our backstage crew um, and, and I are going to work with this to making sure that we advertise it so you understand what you're going to be doing when you click on the link to watch. Um, but next week, next week, I like to really be able to cater to those of you who are struggling, uh, you are recovering from a total knee, total hip, uh, total joint, or you've got um, L5, S1, lumbar, spine, pain, stenosis. Um, there's so many different diagnoses that I work with on a rehab basis, on a daily basis in my business. And I've been doing that for over 20 years. So the sky is the limit as to what we can do. Um, but I was leading it as if uh, you were somebody who was just rolling off the couch for the first time this month in a long time and just trying to get you into some different mobilizations and getting your, your joints loose and moving and just kind of breaking the ice for strengthening. However, not everybody who has had an artificial joint replacement could get into any of those positions. So what I want to make sure you know is next week, I would like to be able to teach one of our um, Life Pro uh, Whole Body Vibration Platform classes from the convenience of not only a, a chair, but also from a standing to a kneeling position. So in other words, I won't be getting up and down up off the ground. I won't be sitting up and down off of the unit. I wanna make sure that if you are struggling uh, with a total knee or total hip or foot ankle reconstruction, that you're able to use all the exercises for the greater good of you recovering faster, number one, but feeling safe and confident um, that we can get you to where you want to go without feeling uneasy about being able to get into those positions or not. So, and again, I work with clients every day doing these kind of uh, exercises using the Life Pro product. Um, and, and so I'd like to be able to extend those to you. So next week, um, keep an eye on your schedule so that we can uh, share with you our expertise in how you can utilize the whole body vibration platform and our different accessories for using a, a seated workout in a chair or going from a chair to a standing position. So I won't have you get up and down off the floor. You won't be on your hands and knees for that workout. I won't have you get into a, a deep lunge or anything like that. It is just a matter of you getting comfortable with getting out of a chair or not 
uh, not being able to stand after overcoming these different surgeries. So uh, a lot of you are out there that are suffering from those things. So we're here to help and it's a free service to be able to tap into that video. So, okay, I'm seeing um, all these different comments. Oh, we have a former bodybuilder. I love it. That is so cool. That's something I've always wanted to dabble in, but I've really never gone there. Um, I think I have spent so much of my life trying to rehabilitate myself from life adversity of things that I didn't have control over, uh, not accidents that I've created, but just life circumstances. So um, I've not been able to dabble in the bodybuilding world, but I truly respect those of you who have, because that is a tough world to train in because it's very strict. Um, and so I'm seeing we're going to strengthen using shoulders and back. Yes. Oh, I'm loving this. And we've got somebody's wedding coming up. That's exciting. How, how fun is that? Um, working. Okay. Everybody wants to work on their butt and their legs. Um, I, I always get a kick out of my clients that come in and they always want to tell me about leg day. <laughs> and for me, uh, I do total body. Uh, anytime I'm doing the workout, because I don't like to isolate by, by, by body part because our entire body is connected as one. But I love the fact that you guys are trying to recover. Um, and we do have an injury down here, as I'm seeing, uh, with the hamstring and the glutes. So you got it all, the whole rehab process right here. We got the Dash X. We've got the PowerFlow Pros. I've got a bunch of platforms out here in front of me that you can't see. But um, I rehabilitate hamstrings and glutes every week in some form or another. And you don't have to have any equipment at home, just your body weight. So, and uh, you know, some creativity. So we're here to help. Um, okay. So one more time, those of you who are interested in winning the Dash X bike, I want you to give me hashtag life pro and where you want to go. Okay. Hashtag life pro. Where do you want to go? Where are you going to go when you get the Dash X bike in your imagination? Where's it going to take you to? Um, you're going to close your eyes, get on the bike, and imagine yourself climbing a hill or strolling on Daytona Beach, riding it uh, with its chubby tires, its knobby tires on the sand. Um, or maybe you are wanting to ride it through the snow from house to house or riding through the hills. Uh, wherever it is your imagination can take you. Oh, I like it. Ireland, that sounds great. And then you're going to pull up to... A, a, a pub and have yourself a sandwich and a brew, right? In Ireland, <laughs> and be able to hop back on and chug a log on back. So hashtag life pro, where do you want to go? If you are wanting to win the power flow pro, how are you going to use it at home to strengthen or improve your overall wellness? So I want to know if we're going to give this to you, I want to know what are you going to use it for to become better at what you're doing in your life? Um, or what, uh, what you're going to do to increase your overall stamina and strength so that we can make sure that you're maximizing that opportunity. I'm seeing Italy. Very cool. So I've not been anywhere like that. I've not been to Ireland or Italy. I've actually, I've been to the Caribbean uh, islands and love the beaches. And I've been out west. I've actually headed out to San Diego here in a few weeks. So if you're out in San Diego and uh, you want to let me know that you're out there, uh, I'll be out there, I'll be flying out there on Valentine's Day, and I'll be out there for a week uh, working and delivering my magic hands, uh, massages and things. So if you happen to be out in San Diego and you want to connect, let me know. Um, yes, working on core and lower back. We're going to Paris, the French Riviera, Lake Tahoe. I've not been to Lake Tahoe, but I'd love to go there. Hawaii. Oh, you hit a really good one there because from where I live to Hawaii, is like two days of travel by the time you switch planes. So I would love to come over to the Hawaiian islands. Um, which Hawaiian island would you want to visit? That's what I'm curious about. Croatia, I have heard is phenomenal. I actually have a client. Um, she's doing some of my uh, web design work and she actually works on a yacht in Croatia, um, just providing extraordinary service to pamper individuals who are just trying to get away in peace and quiet and uh, just uh, and the open water. So it's pretty cool. Um, yes, the vibration platform is life-saving, truly. Um, I, I call it the magic machine because it truly changes individuals' lives with so much magic. You just have to stand or sit on it. It does all the work for you. It's like the only machine that you can buy that you get on it and it does all the work for you. 
Um, so those of you that don't know about the vibration platforms and you might be just learning about the bike or the, or the weights or some of our other amazing products, um, the whole body vibration platforms actually stimulate 90% of your muscle fibers to shorten and lengthen like quickly 10 to 20, 10 to 20 times per second. Imagine that 10, I can't even do it with my fingers. <laughs> I can't imagine it in my brain. Uh, 10 to 20 times per second without your brain telling it to. It's overstimulating your body by whatever you're in contact with. And that overstimulation of vibration actually goes into our body to heal our body on a cellular level. Um, that's how I actually got involved with Life Pro was I bought mine because I was suffering from a lot of pain after a surgery and just standing on it healed me within like two weeks and I had been suffering for months. So it was life changing. So uh, we definitely wanna hear about all of your success stories because it gives us the ideas of how we can reach out to other people who are craving that relief, but are afraid to go looking for it. Uh, they're afraid to try certain things. So we're here to help and share with um, you know, all of our consumers and our, uh, our community of Life Pro customers that are now part of the Life Pro family so that we can help uh, all of us thrive at our greatest potential. Um, yes, I love, huh, I do, Deb, you, Deb, you are right. Um, I, that's one thing I do a lot of things professionally, but I absolutely love my job with life pro because I get to educate so many people and I get to read about how, um, my information, our information and our innovative concepts are able to change so many lives that we even, don't even know about. It's really powerful. Um, so it's really, really cool. Bike to Maui. That sounds fantastic. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have to take myself there for sure. Okay. Well, let me check with our team and see where we're at because I know we've been all watching for a little while. Let's see what we got here. They're coming in. We are waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm going to ask for a drum roll here shortly, but in the meantime, let's bring this bike back over here. So you know what you're getting. And uh, that 55 pounder there, I'll put it up in close in person so you can actually see it. Okay, so there's our bike. And I'm gonna adjust this because I really don't want to ride it up that close. So remember, we move the handles once we unloosen the knob, okay? And the further the knob comes up towards the seat, the more reclined it is. Now, once you hear it click, make sure that you tighten it down so it doesn't take you for a spin. <laughs> One other thing I forgot to show you guys, on the front of the Dash X bike are a little set of wheels. So when you go to tilt the bike forward, it actually, you can push it using the wheels, okay? You don't actually have to pick it up. It has wheels. And then it also has stabilizer uh, knobs that you can stabilize in position so that you're not going anywhere. Um, and if you're, you're, you're getting, you're able to participate on level ground, okay? All right. Now, one other little detail. I got my phone here and there is a tablet ledge here that we can put our book on or our tablet on or our phone on and we can keep up with what's going on. And Okay, now we were on eight, so we're going to go back to Speedy Gonzales mode. There we go. Okay, now you can all see me at the top of my head, and my head doesn't get chopped off. Okay, whoo, that is so much easier. Good stuff. Okay. Now, <laughs> the PowerFlow Pro, that winner is Sarah Andriano. I'm gonna assume that that's how you pronounce your last name. I am super apologetic if I totally butchered your last name, but Sarah, S-A-R-A-H-M, Andriano, A-N-D-R-E-A-N-O. I do not get to choose these winners, so there's no bias on my end. So Sarah, if you could please send a message to LifePro and let them know your address, 
your email, your phone number, so that they can send you your new Power Flow Pro dumbbells. Okay, or dumbbell, I should say dumbbell, it's one. Okay, for our Dash X, everybody, drum roll, I'm gonna come up to the seat. Okay, we've got Delana Clark. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Delana Clark, you won the Dash X bike for participating with us tonight. Yes, oh cool, I did pronounce it right. That is so awesome. <laughs> I, I love each and every one of you for participating with us. Um, it makes my job so much more fun because again, I mentioned this the other day, we have no idea who we're talking to, how many people are actually watching because we are sharing this globally from uh, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube all at the same time. And uh, some people are just sitting back and watching. Um, <laughs> We were talking, um, some colleagues of mine and I, clients and I, were talking about how you are able to catch a short break. If you are just trying to catch two or three minutes to yourself, you might actually check your phone when you're sitting down using the bathroom. Or you might sneak away to the bathroom stall and not use the bathroom, but you're pretending to use the bathroom. And so you might not comment or write something down, um, but you might still be able to see that we are offering and teaching and, and sharing in all these different products. So thank you all so much for your um, participation in uh, participating and listening up to my humor because I don't always have the, the greatest humor. Uh, just have a lot of great knowledge to share. Um, but thoroughly love teaching you and sharing with you and interacting with you. And I love seeing where you're all coming from. Uh, we all, our minds all think so different. And so to be able to imagine if you can go to a different state of mind, go to a different place in reality, and you can choose anywhere you want to go where everybody's ideal place where they would go is so different and so i think for today and participating in that was just really cool because uh some of you might have a bucket list 